What do you do when life crashes in around you and is unbearable? At Jesus' empty tomb, the angel said to the woman, He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come, see where his body is lying. And now go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember what I have told you. The woman ran quickly from the tomb. They were very frightened, but also filled with great joy. And they rushed to give the disciples the angel's message. Matthews 28, 6 through 8. Key thought. Go quickly and tell his disciples. We need to be reminded that Jesus conquered death. He is no longer in the tomb. Jesus isn't just risen. He is living and he is Lord. Why do we need to be reminded? The realities of life sometimes crash in around us. We have loved ones die, and we grieve because the separation that death brings. We cry because we hurt deep inside. We are saddened because life seems so short. Jesus' resurrection is the assurance of our own resurrection. 1 Corinthians 15 20 through 26, 45 through 58. Jesus' victory over death means the life of every one of his followers matters and counts. Jesus' reign in his kingdom means that we have hope that allows us to grieve, but not as those who have no hope. We grieve with expectation of seeing our loved ones again of being reunited with them in the presence of the one who died so that we can live with him forever. I don't know about you, but I've got several folks I need to tell about this. Remember to invite them to your house of worship and see that God is more than good. Let us pray. Oh, precious Father and Almighty God, you are my rock in the storm, and my light in the darkness. Jesus' victory over death for me has sustained me with hope in the darkest days when loved ones have died. Because of Jesus, I believe that I will share heaven not only with you, but also with those I love who have loved you and honored Christ as Lord. Please. Lead me to someone who needs that encouragement this week and forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.